Hello everybody, thank you. Uh, today I will, uh, I will try to explain how uh, we build uh, a stack, uh, an application stack based on Triton, uh, combined with uh, other components to, uh, to, have, uh, to make Kug, uh, which is our uh, insurance solution. So the main two points, uh, the main two components I will focus on are uh, Docker, which is our uh, main tool for uh, deploying, for testing, for uh, integration. So uh, we are using it massively to, uh, to deploy and uh, to maintain uh, uh, Kog and Triton within uh, the environment of uh, the environments of our, our clients. Uh, the two uh, main components is, uh, are, are two, uh, two components uh, in, in real. Uh, these are. Uh, I will speak about our web uh, web API, which is REST API based on uh, Triton, and uh, an SPA application which is based on this API to uh, to expose uh, some um, some features, some uh, functionalities uh, on um, on Triton. I will uh, show uh, the whole architecture and they will make a demonstration of um, of the two uh, the two components. So why uh, why Docker? Uh, I don't think that's uh, actually this this question is no more a question today. But uh, I will explain uh, the first time we used it and uh, and why. So we were in uh, in the infrastructure of uh, our client. They are using uh, Red Hat. They are behind the proxy. I don't have an internet connection, and uh, I had just one day to deploy uh, a Kog and Triton in, uh, within uh, within this infrastructure. It was really complicated, and it was the first time uh, we, uh, we used Docker. W I have just copied, I think, uh, four uh, gigabytes in, uh, in an image, uh, get them wor uh, run uh, on, this, uh, on this machine, and it was our first uh, use, uh, use of uh, Docker. It was, uh, I think, uh, two, years, two years and a half. Uh, uh, it was la la in, uh, 90 in 2015. I think that the most important thing about Docker is, th is that we don't care about the distribution. We don't care about uh, the versions of the software we are using. Here uh, I have an example. To use, for example, Postgres 9.6, uh, to have this work on uh, Fedora, on CentOS, on Debian, it's a problem because uh, depending on the, the version, on uh, the source repository, on, uh, on the package manager of each distribution, it's a problem to have a precise version of software. When using Docker, it's easy. We, we choose the right version on that. And uh, since we use also the, uh, the Alpine uh, images, we have no overhead on, uh, on disk, on, uh, on, uh, on disk space usage for, for this image. Uh, so for us, it's, uh, it's perfect. And this command uh, will, will work on, uh, on any distribution. We don't ask for anything from, uh, from our clients. Uh, they just need to install Docker, and uh, the process is the same for all uh, all of them. So, uh, for us, Docker is the universal way to uh, to package an application to ship uh, our our software, and we are using it uh, to ship uh, to ship Kog and to de deliver it for all all of uh, our uh, deployments uh, for all our customers. Uh, one other uh, important point is that we speak the same language as the IT uh, teams within our clients. So before, we need to explain that we are using uh, Python, Triton, we need modules, uh, we need to copy some piece of code there, we need uh, a folder somewhere to, uh, to, um, to host uh, attachments. So there are many points that uh, we are today formalized and, uh, and well, uh, well I wouldn't say uh, we, we, we don't uh, write documents for that because it's easy and uh, people today understand that the volume uh, that is exposed from, uh, from Docker, it's, uh, it's, a file, it's a folder in a file system that should be uh, backup or stuff like that. So uh, I think that uh, we, we, since we speak the same language, we don't need to explain more than that uh, what we have in, uh, in our script. Uh, another point is that we test uh, uh, Kug and uh, Triton in, in, the, in the same situation uh, in which it will, uh, it will run in, uh, in production. 
So uh, sometimes uh, we test, uh, we, we add a feature, we test it, it works. And uh, when we deploy it uh, within a client uh, implementation, they have problem. So today, uh, since we deliver all the package, we can test the same image uh, on, uh, on your own uh, laptop and on the server. And it, we have the same results. And it's huge. Uh, for me, uh, it's, 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 it's very important uh, feature in, uh, in Doki that we, we, are, we are reproducing the same environment on, on a server, on a laptop, or on uh, any other machine. Uh, last point is that uh, it make this makes us uh, ready for the cloud. Uh, I explained, so before uh, Kog, uh, like Triton, it's, uh, it's, it's a library. We, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we install uh, packages, we install Python, we have, uh, we have versions, many stuff to, to manage. And we, we rarely ex explain that uh, the big picture, what are the components, how do, we, do they communicate? And uh, this is very important to be, to be ready to, uh, to, to deploy on the cloud. So we have a machine, we do all in, in the same machine. Uh, today, we have containers. We explain uh, what, uh, what, da, what does uh, container need for uh, as a volume, as a communication, on, on which port uh, does it communicate, uh, does it need to be public or not. Like all of this stuff is done uh, only once. And after that, uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it is well managed. And uh, for, for uh, 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 Docker usage makes us f uh, think of uh, uh, formalize such uh, such informations that are today uh, very important for uh, for our clients to present uh, the solution in a in a, in a whole. Uh, admin is a, is a wrapper uh, around uh, Docker. We develop it for for uh, for many reasons. The first one is that uh, when we started working on Docker, uh, it it wasn't uh, easy for uh, for uh, for IT people to uh, to administrate Docker because sometimes uh, they 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 haven't used it yet. So we have written some scripts to uh, for starting, running, monitoring uh, our containers. And today it's uh, it's important for us. Uh, for uh, for the same reasons and uh, also for for the to uh, to have a specific command for each component of the application i will show in uh, a demonstration on that but the idea is that uh, uh, we don't run a, a command like a docker run and uh, we set the volumes uh, one by one uh, in the command we have a whole configuration that could be customized and uh, we have a command that uh, that's called cog we uh, we we set the number of workers to set in, uh, in the container and it just works. If we need to, it, it makes also the configuration persistent. So if we change the configuration, for example, to use another port than uh, 80 for, uh, for the HTTP uh, traffic, we set it only once and we don't need to redo it. Stuff are done uh, directly. We have also some, some I would say, meta commands uh, to, uh, to make an upgrade. When we, li when we deliver a new version, uh, we have a command, uh, we give it the tag of the, the image to, to deploy. It makes many stuff like uh, things that usually we should remember to do it, uh, to, to flash the redisk cache before starting the new instance, to, uh, to, make, uh, to, um, to launch uh, Triton admin, uh, to, uh, to update modules. All of this stuff is made uh, automatically, so we don't need to think about uh, what to do. It makes also a backup, I think, <coughs> for the database before starting a uh, module update. So all, uh, all of this stuff is done. It's uh, automatic. And uh, our uh, I, uh, IT uh, people that are uh, managing uh, COG deployment, they don't need to know exactly uh, what, uh, what, what to do. I would they, they don't need to, to know specificities of, uh, of our platform. All is uh, we have just uh, commands to, to execute, and that's all. Uh, so I will make a small demonstration of this. So here, we can see that I have uh, my, uh, my images for COG, for Web Components, Postgres, Nginx, Redis. Uh, I have nothing uh, started right now. 
Uh, the first thing I, I, uh, I, uh, I'm doing is to create a network on Docker to host all of these uh, components. And now I can start. So uh, uh, every command of, uh, of these are just a Docker run, but uh, it, uh, it has many specificities like uh, volumes, like uh, ports and stuff like that. And uh, it's, I would say, hidden, but uh, we don't need to, spe to, to, to write with the same thing uh, every time I launch uh, uh, an environment. And we can see here all the variables that are set to, uh, for the volumes to, def to define uh, on which file system I will set uh, the volume of the database. On, uh. Uh, now, I can see that I have my uh, Redis, my uh, Postgres that are launched. I have a command. Uh, uh, every command here are uh, every command here is auto documented. I mean that uh, I launch it without any uh, any action, and it will list the actions that is uh, that she's able to uh, it's able to do. So I can launch, for example, a Postgres client. It will launch a new container that will connect in the same network to the um, to the server. And here. I don't know, uh, name. For example. So here, my data is uh, accessible, and uh, it runs in, uh, in a container. Uh, I, we don't, I, I don't have anything that is running <coughs> on, uh, on, my, uh, on my machine. So now I can start my uh, COG container. Here we can see uh, the list of commands that um, that I have. Uh, for example, I uh, I have my version command, which is uh, uh, the the commit uh, identifier of each uh, of each uh, repository on which I have uh, my code. This is, I would say, uh, the uh, the footprint of my image. I can reproduce the same one by by, by building an image based on the same repositories and the, the same commits. I can also see. Uh, uh, the runtime uh, execution, uh, the Triton D configuration. So here I have uh, all the information that uh, when 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 container run, um, it will uh, it will have. Uh, I can see also that uh, up, uh, I will see the, the same list of uh, modules uh, that uh, that are uh, installed on my uh, on my uh, instance. So now I will start my. Uh, I will do the same thing for the web. The web container, and now I can start Nginx. So now I have all my uh, containers that are up. I can switch to. I have my uh, client, I have my bench application, needs to, uh, and all of this needs to wait for uh, try to, to, uh, to initialize. I can do Nginx. And now we can see the list of uh, all all the calls that are made to uh, to Triton. I think that we will. Uh, Thirty seconds to wait for uh, the pool to initialize. So I think that it's okay. I'm sorry, the the resolution is not. Uh, So this, uh, I want also to show this uh, small component. It's just small web application uh, that will call uh, Triton to make some tests on it. The idea is to test latency between uh, the client and the server, latency between uh, the server and the database, uh, to test memory, 
uh, CPU and uh, some uh, some DB actions. We can try it here. And see that uh, all, all the the, uh, the LPC calls that we uh, we do to uh, to uh, to uh, to try them. We can see here also the the LPC method that is called. It's a small feature that we have added to uh, to Nginx to uh, to because all the calls to Triton are just post to the same URL, so we don't see uh, what takes uh, what takes time. What we see here is uh, the, the status code of uh, HTTP, the size of the input, size of output, the time spent, and uh, the compression ratio if, uh, if we have big, uh, big packages. Uh, I think that I'm done with Kogadmin. Here we can see some I have some errors because uh, I don't have uh, all the modules that are there. So, uh, do you have any questions about uh, Kogadmin and the Docker usage for? Uh, I have a Docker question. Yeah. So you started. So you started two years ago on Red Hat uh, with Docker. Or yeah, I, I my my first experience was to uh, to uh, to uh, to run Cog on Red Hat, and we used Docker for that. So and we used the uh, Docker for that. Yeah, but if I remember correctly, two years ago on Red Hat, it was an old version of Docker. And I think that the version that I, I have I have started with it was uh, one one yeah. dot uh, dot eleven and <laughs> our, uh, so it's it's a it was already stable yeah. enough for your usage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm switching to another. Uh, yes. How do you manage major uh, upgrade of PostgreSQL? Uh, right now, we uh, we still uh, on uh, on the version nine point six. I think that uh, there is a if we start. If we take uh, grab a new version of Postgres and we launch it on a on a volume where the data is uh, is not uh, to, to the right version, I think that there are uh, it could be possible to launch it with some <coughs> options to to make the upgrade from uh, the uh, I don't know the Postgres 10 uh, to uh, fa from the 9 uh, 9.6 to 10, or also we can uh, we can start we, we can do this. Uh, before and uh, import a dump of the new database. Yeah, uh, the PG upgrade uh, tools uh, requires to have both version of Postgres installed. Yeah. So I don't think you have both on the Docker image. So I think. No, can we, we can have the two images of uh, two no, two versions. I think inside the same system. No, the not not inside the same. Yeah, but uh, P PG upgrade needs the, uh, this uh, because it needs to read the data with the old tools and ch make the change. Uh, but otherwise, the only option I know is to make a, a dump of all the database and reload it in the new version. Yeah, Probably it's, it's, it's what the ten version of the Postgres is another port and all the Docker on the same machine. Uh, but probably not on the same container. But I, I know that we, we uh, Jean had uh, made this for uh, I don't know uh, for uh, for some reason, and uh, I can uh, I can ask him. But uh, I haven't done this directly. But uh, because uh, the PG dump all and PG restore, it on very large database can take times. Yeah, but probably we can uh, we can take uh, we can uh, start. We can have uh, the two uh, the two versions that are yeah. installed locally, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, point the uh, the two to, to the same uh, volume mm -hmm. of uh, the working database. Make the migration and start uh, an image for uh, for the version ten. I don't think that it's much more complicated than uh, when we have a Postgres SQL that uh, that runs uh, <coughs> on uh, locally. For me, it's. Uh, Backup and restore is, is longer than the. Like no, 
but you, when you have volume, uh, it's, uh, it could be also problematic when you have a database of, uh, I don't know, uh, two, uh, 200 uh, gigabytes to have the, to make the, to make this on, on a small machine when you, when you don't have enough disk, it, uh, it could be problematic. So I understand that uh, some t enough uh, space, uh, disk space file system. You need to have three times the space. Yeah, or, uh, for sure. or two if you delete your old data before uploading the new. <laughs> but, uh, yes, but, but uh, uh, as is today, today is, is one thing. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I agree, it's uh, uh, cheap today. Personally, I use uh, Stripe SSDs, so it's absolutely incredible on performance. <laughs> and it's not too much expensive, so. Uh. <laughs> But the, the question is, uh, I'm not used to upgrade directly because uh, I thought that uh, the result could be a little bit different. Uh, I'm very confident to have a, an old installation and get a backup and <coughs> restore a new installation. It's, it's safer to get to, to keep a backup, to keep a dump of the old database if uh, the migration uh, has not succeeded. So. Not exactly. Uh, you lose your uh, statistics this way? When yes. you back a dump and restore, and then your queries for I don't know for the few uh, the, bili the the few new minutes. few months uh, maybe no, you slower, you are but you have to analyze. You are the full version, and you will you will collect the stats. Yeah, but you you well, take what time. I, <coughs> what I when I saw what I saw is that a full vacuum when you have just dumped the database is a matter of one second. A full vacuum when you have not done as a database is a matter of minutes. Yeah, it, it, in any way it's faster than a storm. For <coughs> my experience is about <coughs> 50, 60 gigabytes, not more. So, so it's limited. I haven't that done yet, I, but I think that uh, I, I will ask the question to, uh, to, to Jean who, uh, who uh, experienced this on. Uh, it was on little big database. I will. Uh, I will try to. Uh, yes. Uh, but uh, the most. <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, the the quickest way is uh, to just uh, use uh, the uh, temp the, the the old database as a template, create a new database because this is very very quick. Then operate uh, the migration on the old database, and if you have problems, you can already do a dump from the new database from the copy. If you need a dump, if you don't need a dump, uh, you just have uh, your insurance with a template because mm -hmm. you can create a database using another template database, and then it's very quick. Maybe, but I, I'm not really expert on uh, on my uh, on uh, on migrating, and uh, I'm working on. Cedric the uh, showed this, uh, I think, uh, two tools ago. I think. I think. Okay. So now I will uh, I will switch to uh, to API. So um, API is uh, is a component that we have developed on on um, on Triton, but uh, not inside. <laughs> just uh, uh, it is using Triton by calling uh, RPCs and it's exposing uh, REST uh, REST protocol. So why uh, why we needed to do this? Uh, that the main reason is that uh, usually we, we deploy Cog, we use Cog uh, within uh, an, an existing environment, and uh, we need to communicate with uh, third-party applications. And uh, it we have many cases where uh, we need to have outgoing information from Cog to another system, and incoming information from uh, another system to uh, to Cog. The two main cases uh, are. Uh, subscribing or importing contracts from a front uh, application. So uh, our clients user usually have their own uh, front uh, applications and they use Coq for, um, for uh, managing uh, the contracts. And the idea is that uh, we they do not want to uh, refill the contract uh, manually. So they, they are using uh, the, uh, the contract API to import it, to make all the checks on the contract uh, check the, the rates, uh, the invoices, and uh, all of these informations, and to import it to um, to the system. Uh, the for the for outgoing information, it's uh, another case which is in um, in the other way. 
uh, sometimes we have claim systems that are uh, claims that are managed that are not managed on Cog, and uh, the claim system will ask Cog to see if the contract uh, if the contract exists, uh, what are the coverages and uh, some uh, business information about uh, the insured, and in that way we need to expose information in uh, in a read way uh, from uh, from Cog. Uh, the question I think that uh, everybody will ask uh, why why not use uh, a, a RPC directly? So we try to do this for uh, for uh, I think uh, two years two years ago we used to uh, to call RPCs for that. The problem is that uh, it's complicated. The JSON format for RPC is not uh, it's quite specific. We need the specific client to uh, to do that. Uh, we uh, the, the RPC also calls are a little bit uh, low level, so we have some methods to call on um, on uh, on a model. Usually, it's ba based on on <coughs> one model, and uh, we have uh, some uh, create uh, update and uh, the classic uh, the classic methods. But uh, we have too many specificities on Triton that we cannot manage from the client side. I here I uh, I'm talking about uh, the on change uh, the on change with when uh, when I uh, modify uh, I don't know uh, a variable do should I uh, call uh, on change or not and all of these are uh, specific and they need uh, extra calls to uh, to RPC so the, the main the main idea is that uh, if we want to call uh, Triton with RPC we need to understand the model we need to understand the protocol and we need to understand uh, the meaning of uh, all variables and uh, the, l the business log logic um, behind, and uh, this is exactly what we don't need to uh, to do. We need just people to to, to launch a call, to uh, to make some job, and to get the result, and that's all. We don't need to explain them that uh, the contract has a list of coverages, and uh, you need to fill this information before because uh, so the idea is. Uh, So our target is uh, to have an endpoint, simple to use, and uh, which is uh, in a business level, not uh, object and model level. So API today uh, it is used in uh, production for uh, I think at <coughs> least two or three uh, customers' deployment, and uh, it's for us it is a standard way, uh, the standard way to access to uh, to Cog or uh, Triton because Cog is a Triton, uh, it's just a Triton back e backend. Uh, with extra modules. Uh, I try uh, <coughs> to explain uh, the architecture of, um, of uh, API. So we have uh, Triton D processes which are here. We have an Nginx to make load balancing on, uh, um, on my workers. So workers are uh, written in, uh, in Python. Uh, I have uh, JSON RPC exchange on, on Nginx to uh, to go to uh, the layer uh, in the Node.js. Uh, API is uh, a routing uh, framework. It's called uh, CoAGS, it's Node.js, and uh, three modules which are uh, uh, which we have developed in um, in Kupengo based on uh, the work uh, based on Sao. And uh, they are uh, uh, today we can do uh, npm install, uh, Triton types, Triton session, and Triton model. They are available, and uh, I think that we can have today uh, the 4.4 version and uh, we will uh, we will update to uh, 4.6 uh, why we are using this uh, <laughs> these modules uh, these modules is essentially to uh, to respond to the problem at to the, the issue about uh, calling uh, technically how to call RPC uh, and uh, when to uh, to make on change when not to make on change uh, the, the I, we don't decide uh, to do it or not, but just we decide, we, we keep the possibility, we have an option to the save, for example, to uh, the, uh, the, the set method, to say uh, I will set and I want to call uh, on, change, uh, on change after. And uh, the final user is not, uh, do not know how to, how to do that. So it's a kind of, uh, it's like uh, what we have uh, seen with uh, Cedric about uh, Stripe, it's, it's a kind of uh, API or SD, uh, SDK, I don't know how to say it in English, to, uh, to communicate with, um, with Triton. We can, uh, I, I think that it do the same thing as uh, Proteus, but Proteus is, uh, 
is a Python uh, library, and here we have JavaScript libraries. Uh, so uh, we are exposing uh, REST, uh, RESTful uh, endpoints. Today uh, we have a very generic uh, piece of code to access to, to publish a module. I will uh, to publish a model. Sorry, I will show this uh, later. And uh, what we have seen is that uh, usually one call to uh, to REST API, uh, it's usually many many calls to the LPC. And it's a good point for us because uh, we don't need to have we uh, we, we reduce the uh, the network traffic when uh, when talking to uh, to Triton. So uh, all of this all of the stack is uh, is hosted on the same network, I would say. And for the internet uh, communication, so we have really minim minimalistic uh, uh, exchanges. Uh, here is uh, some uh, documentation about uh, how do uh, how it is how it is working. We have the same uh, uh, the same logic for all endpoints. Uh, here, for example, we uh, I it's uh, these are the major uh, ways to uh, to query the API. So uh, <coughs> I can. So I can say that it's uh, uh, just uh, we make a transformation from this kind of syntax that is uh, friendly and uh, that works with uh, the URL, uh, the query string uh, on on a URL, and uh, we convert this to uh, to Python to uh, or to the domain to make uh, to make requests on uh, on Triton. Uh, we have an extra field which is important, which uh, an extra attribute which called uh, fields underscore fields. And uh, this is very important also because uh, when we use R R RPC, we are just on, uh, on a model and we cannot uh, go deeper to get dependencies. Uh, here we can, uh, we can ask to, uh, to, to, to retrieve uh, dependencies of an object by, uh, I don't know, go through uh, uh, many to one or uh, one to many and get a list of the objects which, uh, which are behind. Uh, I talked about uh, a piece of code which is generic. I think that we will publish it today. It's uh, it's not uh, it's not public, but uh, we have uh, two uh, 250 lines that are doing all the job to expose uh, a model. So what we can see here that's very interesting because anyone uh, anyone of you can use uh, can use these uh, these components. Is that uh, once we have this piece of code which is not packaged yet uh, publicly. Uh, we need just to create an application and to say that we want to publish uh, this model to this URL and all, uh, all the entry points like uh, for searching, for uh, uh, getting uh, an instance, uh, for uh, all the, uh, the features here are exposed automatically on any model. And uh, it will depend on uh, the fields of that, uh, of that model. So uh, this is very interesting because it, it I think that we, uh, with uh, with this uh, uh, with these components, we make it easy to uh, to start to to uh, to, uh, to start from from scratch uh, an API uh, endpoint uh, backed by uh, by Triton, and I think that it it could be useful. It was useful for us uh, to do this for um, for Cog, and uh, I think that it could be useful for for any communication uh, need. Uh, some examples of uh, API usage, so uh, authentication uh, to query a model, to read a model. Ah, uh, we have uh, also <laughs> an extra endpoint to uh, to make some introspection on model. So when we uh, make a, a get model, a get party model, uh, we will have all the list of the fields of uh, of party. And uh, when I want to uh, to zoom on a, on a particular fil field, I can have addresses. For example, the main uh, reason why we have uh, we have made this it was because uh, for select uh, values we don't need to hard code from uh, the uh, the web uh, the website uh, the same values that are uh, that exist on on Triton. So we ask just Triton to to give us uh, this information. Uh, I will try to to make a demonstration on that. So now, since I have my uh, API that is launched here, which, uh, uh, 
I can uh, just uh, HTTP post localhost uh, maybe I can make it just a get See, he told me that I'm not uh, I'm not connected I will make a uh, HTTP is just uh, a client, it's just a curl uh, like client, which is just uh, more human. Username. <coughs> uh, ah. So now I can check that uh, I'm connected. I can do localhost uh, web. I'm seeing that it's empty, so I can uh, make post. So now I make uh, a get on uh, on party. I'm uh, I'm getting uh, this field. I can check also on on Triton that I have the same. Not easy. Uh, I can probably add uh, new information. I'll try to find that. I can have the same thing from the other side. Uh, I don't have enough information on party, but I can make probably a test on country. So here I have enough enough information. I can probably uh, make name. I don't know if it work. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we have uh, to to know that uh, the number of records that we get. Uh, we can have here the uh, it's like in Triton. We have the the, the pledge uh, the range of uh, the records that I have. And uh, I have here the number of uh, all the records that are found in uh, in database. And usually, it we can we can uh, force by setting a header to 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 say that I want uh, this range to make paginations. And uh, we can by default, I think that it, it brings uh, the twenty first records. Uh, here, for example, I can uh, try to tell him uh, that I want also to. Um, fields equal country. So what, what he brings me here is just the idea of the country. So he, uh, he I, I have just the, the, eager, um, the eager fields. If I ask him to, uh, to bring a country, there's nothing. Up. Yes, I understand. It's just uh, Shela who, uh, who interpreted the uh, so now, now I, I have the information of the country uh, in, uh, in the same record. So the idea is that to avoid making here, to avo avoid uh, making two calls uh, just to get the information of the country and the subdivision on, uh, on different calls. Uh, what's interesting is that uh, here, ah. We see all the calls. Uh, we, we we make all the HTTP traffic uh, on uh, on Nginx, and uh, it's interesting to see uh, that uh, this call 
this get for subdivision. For, for this goal, we have made uh, four posts on, uh, on Triton. The first one uh, to make a search count, search, read, and uh, to make a field get. And uh, now if I have more examples. Yeah, we can see the model. And here yeah, I have I have the list of uh, all the fields of uh, of country. I think that that's all for API. So very quickly, uh, I will uh, speak a little bit about uh, our web application, which is the layer, the, uh, the final layer. Uh, it's uh, it's an SPA application, uh, which means that uh, it's uh, only one page with the HTML, uh, some uh, JavaScript uh, resources, and it doesn't need to uh, to, re uh, to reload from the server for each call. The idea is that it's a standalone application which is token to uh, to my server by uh, just uh, having uh, calling the, uh, the the REST API. Uh, it's uh, for for us. It's just a template to show that we can use our API to uh, to make uh, to make business to make uh, business processes. Uh, but um, I think that for every for every specific process, we will need to develop new applications because clients usually they want to have their own uh, uh, their own frameworks, uh, their own logic, their own uh, I would say uh, ergonomy and uh, and uh, and specificities. Uh, the idea is that we can we can make quick processes for simple operations, and uh, that's the main point uh, I want to uh, to finish uh, by. So uh, today we have uh, a. SAO or um, Triton client, which is the administration, the the uh, for uh, for people that are working uh, on uh, on our contract insurance to making their job is that to managing these contracts, but uh, to have uh, I don't know brokers, uh, final users uh, consult uh, I don't know their claims, uh, making uh, asking for uh, for some information. We need to have specific applications uh, since uh, today Cog is more accessible via standard API, it's much easy to, easier to, uh, to make uh, such a specific applications. Uh, up, okay. Okay, this is my last slide, just, just to describe uh, what, I, what I have, um, what, I, what we have seen together. So uh, I have, we have all the components here, API, which is calling uh, the workers, and the four type of clients that we can have uh, on, uh, on Kog. Uh, there is Triton, Triton, uh, SAO, uh, the web application, and uh, the REST API. If you have questions about that. Yes. What, what is the blue arrow that goes under the reverse proxy? Ah, I it's because uh, the REST API is based on the RPC and uh, Nginx. Uh, it is uh, going through Nginx to ask uh, to uh, to try to call uh, RPCs to profit uh, to to uh, to get uh, how to say uh, since Nginx is the, the reverse pro uh, is the load balancer, so we need the RPC the API uh, to call uh, Nginx to profit from uh, this uh, this job. So if we, we can set we can put more workers. To get uh, to it, to get the API, uh, have more workers to uh, to work for her. So the idea is that it just uh, it has two relations with Nginx. Nginx expose uh, REST API, and Nginx uh, propose a service to uh, to API to make her uh, call um, the workers, the backend workers. You for the REST API, you never uh, it. It's doing many calls, RPC call to the to Triton, mm -hmm. but you don't you have never need to have a transactional uh, way of doing multiple calls. <coughs> so you want all the calls to succeed, 
Ouais. Or you roll back everything. Uh, no, we don't have uh, transactions that are still uh, still managed by uh, by Triton. So sometimes, indeed, we uh, we do some uh, we manage this manually to to say that uh, for this call I will create a contract, I will uh, modify it, I will uh, I don't know make some calculation on it, and after that after that I decide that uh, it cannot be included. So I need to de to delete it after. We don't have a mechanism a generic me mechanism to make transactional uh, job uh, from uh, from API, but. Uh, what we what we do is that sometimes uh, sometimes usually we um, for example I will give you a real example for quotations uh, quotation is just a kind of contract which is light we have just uh, the minimum information uh, set to uh, to have a rate and for that we don't uh, we don't save we don't store anything in uh, in Triton the idea is that uh, we will ask for the product for the rules uh, I have information I will just uh, ask uh, Triton for uh, some information to read, I will ask him to uh, to run uh, the rule engine, to uh, to execute, uh, to, to to make me to give me a price. All of these informations are stuck in Redis, so the the, the session of uh, API is on uh, on Redis. And once uh, I'm sure that the guy, uh, the, 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 the customer will uh, subscribe and he want uh, a code identifier. At this time, uh, I'm sure of my data and I will uh, push this to uh, to try. To. And it's a good. Uh, it's a good pattern for us because uh, we have uh, we have many calls just for quotations, and uh, if we create uh, a quote object on Triton for each call, it will be uh, very heavy and we'll have problems like uh, uh, purging uh, this uh, non-useful information. So we keep this on on cache. Eventually, it could be, it could go to a CRM system, but it will not go to uh, to Triton since it's not a real transaction. So thank you very much.